Man, man, we've been doing this shit for like a long ass time, bro. <laughs> like, at least, man, I met Quantum like five, six years ago. But me and my brother Hans, we've been doing it for like 10, 12 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I can tell you. We're pretty damn good at this shit. If I do that stuff myself, you know what I'm saying? First, bro, I didn't even know I can sing. Like, I'm like one day, I'm sitting. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I had this little ugly ass yellow radio. You know what I'm saying? I bought it from Walmart for like 20 bucks, bro. And I used to listen to the radio every day. You know what I'm saying? Cause before that, I didn't. I didn't listen to nothing. I didn't listen to radio when we got out of the car. But <clears throat> I'll be listening to it. And Chris Brown, Chris Brown's song would be playing every day. What's good, bro? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be playing every day, bro. So, automatically, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it is. If you, if a song playing every damn day, bro, you learn all the lyrics. You don't even try to learn all the lyrics. The shit just, you automatically learn the shit. So, I'm walking around the house, and I'm singing. Is your man on the floor? If he ain't, let me know. And my mom is just like, Marco. This is the first time y'all that's, that's my name, you know what I'm saying? But don't be saying that shit. My name is Ripley, aka Sauce God Almighty, okay? Sauce Sinatra, any of those, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, my mama like, Marco, have you ever thought about singing? I was like, singing? That's for, even though I'm listening to Chris Brown every day, I'm like, singing? Ain't that for girls, you know what I'm saying? I was young, bro. I'm like 11, 12 years old. I'm like, that's the good female sing, you know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper, you know what I'm saying? She's just like, well, <laughs> she's just like, well, you got a you got a good voice. I think you should. I think you should start messing around with it. You know what I'm saying? You write rap songs all the time. See if you can write an R&B song. So I'm like, well, I ain't about to be saying, you know. But never underestimate a single nigga. You can get a middle finger or a trigger finger. What? I make you mad and I know it. That's when I feel. That's when I realized I have a superpower. You know what I'm saying? That was the beginning stages of the super salt saying of the Northwest. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and like, bro, like ever since then, you know what I'm saying? I've been mixing the two. You know what I'm saying? Just singing, rapping. You know what I'm saying? I ran into Quantum. You know what I'm saying? My brother introduced me to him. You know what I'm saying? They was going to. Uh, they was going to C word, that was going to C word. Shout out to C word, man. Shout out to all the badass kids. Shout out to that school. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to C word. Yeah, they was up there writing songs and stuff for the music program at their school, which was dope. You know what I'm saying? I was jealous as fuck because I'm like, man, bro, they won't let me do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, they played my song on the intercom before. You know what I'm saying? I did the talent show, but they was in charge of their music program at C word. You know what I'm saying? You know, what's his name? Mr. Rose. Mr. Rice. Mr. Rice, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Rice. I uh, literally, I probably, man, really, man, I wouldn't even been doing music if I wouldn't even went to that school. Like, I think about that all the time. Like, literally, <clears throat> when I went to SeaWorld, I probably wouldn't even, I don't know what I was doing, man. Like, literally, and some of it was just like, I was supposed to go to SeaWorld a little when I was a junior, and then I was just like, nope, I'm not going. I ain't going to that damn school. And then, literally, man, the first day, man, of school at SeaWorld, when I was a senior, man, I walked in, man. And, First hour, man, I met my boy Hans, and then he just, just and then the sauce and the TPS was just like. Just back when we was TPS, man. Yeah. TPS, we used to have like, damn, 30, 40 people in the group. You know what I'm saying? We thought we was the new Wu-Tang Clan. And, <laughs> saying, when you all, it's when it's all y'all young ass people, you don't know what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody made mistakes, everybody do some shit they ain't supposed to. People get big headed. Well, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, it didn't work out how we was expecting it to, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people fell off, you know what I'm saying? We went down to 40 people to like two people. Just me and Quan. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Quan, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Minium. Uh that's a whole other, you know what I'm saying, it's a whole other entity, you know what I'm saying? We go by the gang. 
Greater Children's Natural Brown, whenever we link in, you know what I'm saying? When we all link in, it's soft life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to TPS. TPS definitely made us who we is today. We got, we got ready, you know what I'm saying? We learned everything from trademarking to copyrights to, you know, getting music on all platforms. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We learned a lot about marketing and promotion. We learned a lot about the producers and engineers to work with, who not to work with, uh, which I'm just be real with y'all. If you can do it your damn self, do it your damn self. You know what I'm saying? That's big, man. That's big, too. Like, if you can just literally, man, only thing you really need, man, if you really love music, only thing you really need, I would say, is just get you a laptop, get you a mic, get you some nice cool little speakers and some headphones. And go to work, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, really get in there and learn how to work in programs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's gonna be the picture along. Right? Ex exactly, man. So, so you know how you want to sound. You know what I'm saying? So if you're the one behind the wheel, you know what I'm saying? You know where you're going. So at the end of the day, that's that's all it is, man. But that was story short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we starting this vlog, man, because we just like, man, we. People need to see this, you know what I'm saying? People need to see the beginning of stages of what we, we're going to turn into, you know what I'm saying? And I speak with a lot of confidence in us because I have a lot of confidence in us and I believe speaking things into existence, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we just start vlogging. Like We want to start vlogging and let y'all know, like, bro, you know, this is us. This is really us. Now, you know, uh, they acting like this and this and this and that, you know. This, that way, when y'all come back four or five years from now, you know what I'm saying? After y'all have seen us put on dresses and I'm just playing. Just playing. Yeah. But, <laughs> but if y'all see us like five years from now, y'all like, man, bro, where did it all start? You know what I'm saying?